I'm Courtney with the Gridiron Crew, and I am sitting with uh, Jakari Givens. I attended the University of Kansas, and I play safety. Okay, explain safety. Um, basically, you you the last line of defense. Um, you the you the quarterback of the defense. You command in the secondary, and you make plays when the ball go in the air. You know, and they throwing. Now, when I asked you to explain that. I mean, explain it to somebody like me who might not understand that. Um, so if you're watching the game and it's 11 people on defense, we are either the la- we're the last two people in the back. So you got your corners on the outside and you got your safeties in the back. So that's the, the, that's where the safety. Um, far as playing, you know, um, depending on scheme, fit, or whatever goes that way, like that determines what they're supposed to do in the defense. Now, when people are playing football, do they stick with the same position from the very beginning? Like, when did you start playing? Um, I started playing when I was about five or six, and I've played multiple positions. I played quarterback, running back, safety, corner. I played probably every position on the field, you know, just growing up experimenting. So, like, everybody, it depends. Like, when you get to college, like, for instance, with me, when I got to college, um, I got my position switched from – running back to the position I'm at now. So, you know, growing up and advice for younger kids, you know, it may not be the position you think, but it may be the position that's best for you, and that's what they best project you as at the next level. So with that being said, do you have a favorite position? Or you just, I mean, because you're playing safety now, is that your favorite position? Um. I ain't got no favorite position, but I just like to play football no matter what. As long as I'm playing, I'm just active, and I like safety, the position I'm playing now, because, you know, you're the last line of defense. You get to make plays. You get to be the star of the defense, and everybody looking at you because you, you're the you're the last line of defense. So if you get beat, it's over. So you always that guy in the spotlight. So I think you said something very important, and you said um, – Sometimes if you don't think it's best for you, you should just really kind of adhere to your coach's um, advice about playing a certain position. So how has that helped you take that off the field? Um, It's just about being coachable. If you're not coachable on the field, you're not going to be coachable in life. So, you know, whatever job, if you get a job or whatever job you do, you got to follow rules and you got to adhere to people that's over you. So you got you have t- to like dem- you got to go by the rules in order to get to your stepping stone, and once you get to your stepping stone, then you're allowed to free flow a little bit more, and you know like for instance the position I'm in now, like I have to follow rules or it's over, you know, and you know it's your job like you I don't know if you upstart or whatever you, like you know you got to follow rules and like it's just like just like with media it's just certain things that you gotta do. Or if you don't, like, you know, you get cut off. So you have to follow rules. And you just got to be coachable. And, you know, once you get to the certain point, like when you're coachable enough, the coach gives you the leeway to do what you are allowed to do. So. Well, good luck. And I hope you uh, have a great tryout tomorrow, I guess. All right. Thank you.